Hello everyone. For this tutorial video, I like to talk about linear systems involving two variables and two equations, rather than simply one variable and one equation, like we have been looking at so far. We will limit our equations to linear equations in order to make working with systems simple. And we will state that the standard or simplest form is ax plus by equals p and cx plus dy equals q. We should look familiar to the standard form for a linear equation with one variable, but we now have two equations at the same time with two variables. Before we panic about this, however, we can see, using a specific example to illustrate how to solve them, that we can rearrange one of the equations to get x or y by itself in terms of the other variable, and then plug that in to the other equation. And this method is called the method of substitution. As a reference to how you are substituting one variable with reference to the other. So in this case, we can see we can get y easily by itself by doing 3x minus 7. And then plugging this in for y in the other equation. This simplifies to x equals 2. And we can compute y directly because we know our exact value for x and an exact value for y in terms of x. Doing this tells us y equals negative 1. However, not every system will be easy to solve by stating one variable directly in terms of the other. So there is another, more sophisticated method called the method of elimination. Notice that because you cancel out one term and solve for the other directly, which involves manipulating the system of equations, usually via multiplication. In particular, if we are given this system, we see that there's no convenient way to get y or x in terms of the other variable. So the method of elimination seems the more convenient candidate. When we do this, we see 4 and 6 have a more easy to find least common multiple than 5 and 3. So we multiply both equations by the factor not already given by the coefficient of y, and then add the equations so that the y's cancel out. We get 21x equals 7, and so x must equal 1 third. So now we can solve for y by plugging in x into one of the equations, and seeing that this condenses to a linear equation in terms of y. Once we do all the steps for solving a linear equation, we get y equals negative 1 6. And this will actually work for the other linear equation too, which you can confirm yourself by plugging in x equals 1 third in that equation and solving for y. Although this method may seem more arbitrary and less understandable than the method of substitution, the reason why it works the way it does is that we know when we multiply two sides of an equation by the same number, it is the same thing as before we multiplied it because the common factor can cancel out. So that logic holds true for systems as well. Before we discuss systems involving three variables and three equations, we should first take a slight detour into specific types of two variable systems. In particular, if we have a system like this, we see we can do the method of substitution by stating that x equals 6 plus y. We plug this in and try to solve for y directly. We see, unfortunately, even though we got the correct substitution and used it correctly, the y's cancel out. And we are left with an equation stating that negative 12 equals 1, which we know is never valid. So the problem here is that the system does not have any solution, even though we did our work correctly. And we can see why this is when we look at the graph of the two equations and see that they don't meet at any point. One shortcut you can use to identify systems with no solutions ahead of time is to notice when the two equations have the same change in y over change in x or slope. So because we have 2 over negative 2, and negative 1 over 1, they both simplify to negative 1 in total. So the slopes are identical. 
and this is important because when the rates of change or slopes are identical they will never meet and so they will never have any specific point they intersect at. However, we can have systems where the equations have the same slope and overlap each other like this. We see that there is no easy way to get x or y in terms of the other variable, so we elect to use the elimination method instead. We see when we get the least common multiple of either x or y, it actually becomes the least common multiple of both instances, which means with a method of elimination, both variables cancel out at the same exact time, leaving us with 0 equals 0. We see if we rearrange the original equations in terms of standard equation form, then both of these are the same exact equation, which is why we got both variables eliminated with the method of elimination. And when we have the equations overlap at every point, we see logically that there is an infinite number of solutions possible, so we say the system is dependent. Now that we have figured out systems of equations with two variables, we are ready to graduate to systems of equations with three variables. Don't forget to subscribe if you found this video informative, and make sure to see other tutorial videos, and follow me on either Facebook or Twitter for more content.